Good day everybody, this is uh, Chris back again and what I'd like to do now is I'd like to do just another uh, dosage calculation problem, work, work, uh, work through it, see how we go, see how things go. So what I'd like to talk about now is I'd like to talk about an IV flow rate calculation. So we do IV flow rate, IV flow rate, particularly uh, when we use it's kind of a sorry looking R there, but I think you guys get the get the general gist of what we're talking about. Uh, so when we when we have our IV solution, uh, oftentimes when we're administrating administering excuse me, we're administering what I call non medicated, even though though I, any IV solution is a medication. Um, basically, when I'm talking when I say non medicated, I'm talking about IV solutions that don't have any added medications um, it's just the the kind of the factory set solution that that comes with it um, so you can imagine that you have your IV bag here you have your IV tubing and the spike that goes into the bag um, I have my little drip chamber here and then I have the tubing goes to the patient and somewhere on that tubing I should have a little roller clamp Let's see if I can draw that that's uh, pretty sorry uh, looking, but hopefully you get the point there. So um, when I and then of course I have my drip chamber that's more or less halfway full and fluid drips into the chamber as it's administered to the patient. Okay, and oftentimes we don't necessarily have an IV pump when we're administering these types of solutions. Uh, the the common solutions that we run into in the pre-hospital environment include uh, Ringer's lactate or lactated Ringer's. 0.9% uh, uh, saline solution or sodium chloride or what we call normal saline and on occasion you may even see dextrose 5% uh, in water as uh, your other solution D5W but as a general rule, the, the, the two common uh, IV crystal, we call isotonic crystalloids that we administer in pre-hospital environment include Ringer's lactate, 0.9% normal saline solution, uh, simply because they are more or less isotonic um, with uh, the, the blood uh, plasma. And now when we hang the solution, we often have to use the roller clamp. Uh, if we take tension off, flow will co go through the drip chamber faster. If we put tension on, clamp the tubing down a little more, the flow will go through a slower. And the question is, what if I want to administer a certain amount of fluid out of this IV bag over a certain amount of time? How do I use this drip chamber to kind of calculate how much you know, fluid I'm administering? And um, the fundamental formula that we, would, we use that we run across, and this is definitely a good formula to, to remember, is um, drops so let's see if I can be a little little better about uh, drawing this stuff out so drops per minute drops per minute equals the amount to be infused on the top here so the amount um, to infuse And we, the amount to be infused multiplied by the drop factor of the tubing, and I'll talk about what that is here in just a second, multiplied by the drop factor and all of that divided by the time of our infusion and that time needs to be in minutes. So time in minutes. Okay, M I N. That's a pretty sorry looking M there, but hopefully get the point. Okay, so basically what we do is we plug the numbers into the appropriate place here in our formula and we calculate drops per minute. And that is the number of drops that we see in our little drip chamber per minute. So I think the best thing to do at this point is just to kind of um, go through a practice problem 
and see how we feel about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make up a scenario. Let's say that I have uh, um, hung uh, a bag of, of normal saline, normal saline solution. And uh, for whatever reason, I want to administer 100, okay, I want to administer 100 milliliters per hour, okay? So that's the flow rate that I want to administer, 100 milliliters per hour. And I have, the type of tubing I'm going to use is macro drop, and I'm going to use 10 drop, 10 drops per milliliter tubing, okay? Uh, 10 drop tubing. Um, you can find 10, 15, 20, um, and even uh, what we call micro drop or 60 drop uh, per milliliter tubing. We'll just go ahead and go with 10 drop tubing. So what I wanna do is I wanna administer 100 milliliters per hour and I'm gonna administer that through 10 drop tubing. So now what we do is, is now that we have the basic information we need to set up our formula, Let's just go ahead and plug in what I call plug and chug. So first of all, what's the amount to be infused? Well, I want to infuse 100 milliliters per hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 100 right down here into the amount to be infused. Okay, 100 milliliters. That's what I want to infuse. And I want to multiply that by the drop factor, which is 10 drops per milliliter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 10 right here. 10 drop per milliliter tubing, and then the time in minutes. Well, I have decided that I want to administer 100 milliliters over one hour, and there are 60 minutes in an hour, so I am going to put the 60 minutes down here. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and plug and chug. So let's go ahead and uh, do the numerator first. So 100 times 10, um, so we'll do 100 times 10 up here. And multiplication with a bunch of zeros is pretty easy. I just have my one, and then I can add my three zeros, which gives me a 1,000, okay. So that's going to be, uh, let's do the rest of the problem here, 1,000, okay, and that's what I got from that calculation there, and that 1,000 is going to be divided by the 60 here, okay, so 1,000 divided by 60, and I'll just bring that 60 down from there. Okay, and if you remember from my past problems, uh, what I like to do is I like to simplify things. Let's go ahead and get rid of a set of zeros there. And that gives me 100 divided by 6. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll go over here, and I will go uh, 6 goes into 1, whoa, 100. Okay, well... I'll just leave that there. You guys get the point, hopefully. So 6 goes into 10. Well, 6 goes into 10 one time, right? Um, not quite two times. So one time. So I'll bring the 6 down there. And that leaves me 4 left over. And then I drop that other 0, which gives me 40. And 6 goes into 40 how many times? Well, I know 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 times 6 is, I'll have to continue this over here, is uh, 36. 40 minus 36 is 4, and then add a 0. Um, if I add a 0 there, I have to add a point here. So that's 16.6666, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and round this up to 17 drops, okay, 17 drops per minute is my final answer. Let me go ahead and just circle that, and that is my answer here. So if I take that answer and I look at my IV drip chamber here, if and I calculate, and if I'm close to 17 drops of fluid every minute falling uh, through the drip chamber, that will give me a flow rate of 100 milliliters per hour. 
Okay, guys, hopefully that made sense. And uh, as always, thanks for hanging in there.